All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Nebula Space Engineering Decals Continued mod, which was originally made back in the day by a forum user Krasimir. It has since though been resurrected by Linux Guru Gamer, apparently with some help from user MeCrip. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, decals that you can put on your rocket and it's pretty fun and we actually have looked at another decals mod quite a long time ago and I kept seeing this one pop up and I always just kind of the thought in my head, oh, yeah, we did that already, but no, this is a different one. So with this recent update for the 1.4, uh, you know, version of the game, I thought might as well take a look at it now. So let's jump to the VAB and have a look at what this does add in. Now let's grab just kind of a random command pod there and some fuel tanks to display things on. And we really don't need janitor's closet, but we'll turn it on anyways, just leaving nebula as, uh, well, you can see that there isn't any parts in any other category besides utility. So that is where all of the parts for this particular mod do live. And if we zoom in here, we can start plopping these on. Now we have five things here, different styles of decal for us to put on. The first being the curved decal. We then have the sort of standard flat decal, a one by two flat decal, then a one by four flat decal, and finally a one by eight. Now as you can see, See, they all are pretty darn small here, so it is recommended that you use tweak scale with this mod so that you can change the size. They are compatible, and so that is most certainly something you can do. But in their default size and state, this is what we're dealing with. So let's zoom in here to get a better look and check out what you do have for each of these decals. Now we can right click, and of course, as it says here, change scale if you do have that installed or the texture so the textures we have by default are of course the nebula space engineering the european space agency alternate european space agency the euro stars the squad logo the international space station nasa another nasa the russians another russians energia then the eu flag american flag russian flag alternate Russian flag, and Russian star. And then we're back to our defaults here. So that is what we have available for the curved decal. Now on the standard square straight decal, we have basically the same things, just it's flat rather than curved. And so yeah, so you're gonna see the same things between these two, uh, nothing else different. Now the next one we have the one by two, we have a Kerbal Space Program logo, a Arian Space Service Solutions, CNES, the ESA, another smaller version of that, JPL, the US uh, logo there, a, and then back to default. So not a huge amount of variety there, but some interesting new ones that we didn't see on the sort of standard sizes. I personally like, oh, where, where, dup, dup, there we go. Of course, JPL is pretty good too. And then in the 1x4, again, we have a different NASA. And, well, the, that that's it on the 1x4. That's all we got. And then, finally, on the 1x8, we have a thing of all the flags for the International Space Station, which is always fun. A U.S. Air Force. An alternate U.S. Air Force. The United States. Another United States. Just, you know, other way around. And then we're back to the default decal. I think this one's, of course, my favorite. It has all the lovely country flags. And so that is what we do have by default. Now, you can actually quite easily add your own textures in here if you do want anything else. But this installed on its own, this is what you will get. A handful of decals to make your rockets a little bit more interesting and, you know, a little bit more realistic. They do tend to slap a lot of things on the side of those, especially the Europeans. They I've always got all sorts of stuff painted on the sides. But yes, uh, just a fun, quick little mods. That's really it for this one. Not a whole lot to go through. All in all, just a fun little mod to play around with and add a little bit more 
a little bit more interestingness. That's not really a good phrase for that, is it? I guess a little bit more texture is actually a better way to put it to your rockets and just, you know, spruce them up a bit. So if you would like, would like to check this out for yourself, which I would recommend you do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But yeah, that's, that's really it for this mod today. Not a whole lot to go through. So I hope you have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!